Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to an episode of Great Locks. I'm Gunther the Great and today we're going to be looking at KSI's dreadlocks. Once again, his dreadlocks have transformed quite a bit. We've seen him go through a whole bunch of dying processes and also seeing him go from kind of a maintained kind of look, even though it wasn't really maintained, it was more of a free form. But I believe he did start out with sponge rub, which was a maintenance or a method that he used in order to get his dreadlocks. We see him now just completely free from with a bunch of Congos and we'll talk about how he got his hair that way. I'll pretty much break everything down from the very beginning of his hair type all the way to his hair now and we'll see how he got his hair that way and just kind of just appreciate how cool his hair actually looks. So without further ado, make sure to go follow the Great Lux Instagram page. You can follow us at Great Lux. If you tag Great Lux, you can be featured on the page or even the channel when we do dreadlock reviews. Here's some people that just recently tagged, so make sure to tag us and then you'll definitely be considered to be featured. And I just wanna reiterate, everyone who posts a picture on Instagram and tags Great Locks, make sure it's pretty good quality photos so that it can be shared because as you notice on the Great Locks page, all the photos are pretty high quality. So that's what we're going for. We don't want, you know, just a low quality photo. Like have your friend take a photo of you if you have some nice hair. And it's not initially the hair, even though we appreciate the hair on there as well but we want to appreciate kind of the whole aesthetic of the photo as well, since it is Instagram. But you guys, let's get straight into KSI's dreadlocks. So you can see right here, this is his hair bleached. And I believe right now, there's not many photos to prove, but I believe right now he does have red dreadlocks. And to be honest, he does have red dreadlocks because of his videos recently on YouTube. One thing about KSI that I've noticed, he doesn't post a bunch on Instagram, but we do see one photo on here with him with his red dreadlocks and we'll see this one actually has red dreadlocks in it, but it's black and white. But this one right here, this is like really as close as you get when it comes to his hair. I'm not sure why he covers his hair all the time. I'm not sure if he has like a big forehead or if he just always covers his hairline. But that's one thing that I've always noticed. He never like not has a headband or never doesn't have a headband and or something wrapping his, his hairline. So that's one thing that kind of bugs because you can't really see much. And mostly now with his red dreadlocks, he's been pulling his hair back a lot of the time. So that's one thing as well that I've noticed. One thing that will happen with him pulling his hair back all the time, his hair is gonna form differently than if it were to be outside of you know, a hair tie or anything like that. So what could possibly happen if he's leaving his hair pulled back a lot and very frequent is his hair is gonna start forming in that way that he has it held up. For instance, if you were to leave it in this state for a long time, it could even lock up into the position that it's in and be stuck in a ponytail as a huge Congo. Not to say that Congos are bad because we see that his Congos now, well, obviously well, this photo you can't really tell, but he does have some skinny dreadlocks. He has some thick dreadlocks. I think this photo right here is really, well, this one shows quite a bit. This is him with Trippy Red. Yeah, we see that he just has a bunch of Congos and I'm sure at one point he did maintain them a little bit but right now I think that he just lets them go and lets them lock up on his own. That's one thing about it. With his hair type, it does help out with the method that he chose with Freeform um, because it will form at a very uniform rate even though he is freeforming. So I'll tell you his hair type right now, he has most likely a 4B or I would say peeking onto a 4C. So he has a very tight curl pattern. So with this hair type, it makes it so easy for the hair to lock up. You can literally lock your hair up in a few weeks with this hair type if you were to go with a method. So if you were to actually go a different route and section out his hair and then just do twisting with gel or something of that nature, even if you just did a dry retwist of no gel, that could eventually just lock up within a month or two. And it would just all take him going in and then you know, just making sure that they stay within their sections, it will eventually lock up, especially with the right hair length. So say if you had the hair type of a 4B or 4C, and then you section out the hair, you twist it, and then you have your sections out, and your hair is about two to four inches, I would say probably like three to four inches, that hair is gonna lock up very well because it's at the right hair length, it's at the right hair type, and you're just setting yourself up for success with everything that's going on with your hair. But just to appreciate his dreadlocks, he does have a lot of two head Congos. You see that he has like some four and five head Congos in here as well, but mostly they're just really thick dreadlocks. He has some skinny ones as well. You can see those in the back, but I can guarantee you that all the skinny ones that he has on his head are actually attached to thicker dreadlocks. And with his hair, if he's going completely freeform, they're gonna keep on getting thicker and thicker. And that's the thing about freeform dreadlocks. If you let your hair freely form, it's not only gonna create Congos, you're gonna have skinny ones and thick ones, but over time, if you have skinny ones, those are always going to merge into a thicker dreadlock. That's just really how it goes, because initially a Congo is just a hair or a strand getting pulled into a bigger strand. So take dreadlocks, for instance, you have a bunch of strands of hair, 
but they get pulled into a thick dreadlock. Now, if you take a skinny Congo, it's going to get pulled into, or if you take a skinny dreadlock, it's gonna get pulled into a thicker dreadlock always if you don't maintain it. It goes both ways with your hair being outside of dreadlocks or your hair being inside of your dreadlocks. If you're not maintaining it, it will eventually lock up. That's why people freeform, and that's why if you never maintain your hair, your hair will automatically freeform. And obviously there are ways to actually speed up the freeforming process, like washing your hair. Washing your hair and make sure that hair is very clean, and very dry, help the process as well. Because a lot of people think that you have to keep your hair dirty and never wash your hair. That's just really not true. You can really wash your hair and it actually benefits your hair a whole lot with the locking process. Now when it comes to washing your hair, do not wash and scrub your scalp every single time because you really just want your hair to be dry and clean, not necessarily your scalp. Because you don't want to dry out your scalp, you just want to dry out the hair. But I can say when his hair was bleached, it looked very nice, very distinct. With him having kind of a high top fade, it makes it look really cool. And I almost think they actually has a mohawk of dreads, or like a south of France. But I'm telling you, you can't really tell because he always has his head wrapped, so that's kind of annoying. But I mean, you can still see what's going on. You could see from these two pictures right here, there's a painting right here and then him in real life. You could see how far his dreadlocks have came. But like I said, just knocking down the whole process, his hair type is most likely a 4B or a 4C. The method that he chose could have been sponge rub or just naturally letting, letting it form. And I'll tell you guys this, if you want to get your hair like this, you can start with sponge rub with your hair being about two to three inches. I would say probably two inches and then allow it to freely form afterward. And I'm telling you, that's possibly what he could have done. And it's kind of just like how Sway Lee started his hair and also how a lot of other people started their dreadlocks. Like when I started my dreadlocks, I started with sponge rub, my first set of locks. Obviously, if you guys remember those, um, I started with sponge rub and then eventually locked up, started maintaining it. And it just depends on what route you go on afterward. Because you can see right here that his hair was kind of more in single strands of dreadlocks versus Congos. And then eventually they all just find someone to connect with and then they'll connect. So I'll show you a photo that looks like you could have started out with sponge rub. And it's one of these right here. You can see how his hair is already sectioned out. That could have possibly started with sponge rub or even like some sort of finger coils. Not necessarily like maintaining it completely, you know, kind of just messing with it and twisting the hair. Could eventually get it to that position. And this photo right here looks a lot like sponge rub right here. You could barely tell at the top but it looks like he could have started with sponge rub. So that, that's what I'm telling you guys. It could be a method that he could have done, but also you guys can do it if you do want to get your hair like his. So we already got the hair type. We got the method, which was either free form or starting out with a sponge rub, but overall it is free form. And then as far as maintenance, I'm telling you guys, if you just wash your hair probably twice or three times a week, you're going to be in a good state with your dreadlocks. So I would say just washing is mostly the maintenance. And now as far as the hairstyle, we see him with the bleached hair or the colored hair. These are all things that tie into how he got his dreadlocks or how to get your dreads exactly like his. Now, if you do have a hair type of three or anything lower, your hair is not going to turn out exactly like his, but say in the long run with the lower hair types, they tend to look more mature and look as if your hair or your curl pattern is very tight. And in reality, it's just your hair tightening up into the dreadlock. But you guys, overall, Case has some really dope dreadlocks. What do you guys think of his dreads? Comment down below what you guys think. I think they're really cool. I would like to see more photos of his hair actually out with the red dreadlocks and see how they look and possibly see him without a bandana on. That'd be nice as well, just to see everything that's going on with his hair. But comment down below what you guys think about his dreadlocks. Also, let me know down below who you guys would like to see next. And don't forget to go check out greatlocks.com. I'm going to mention today's product of the day, which is the sponge, the dread sponge. And you guys can pick that up in greatlocks.com as well. I'm going to link that down below. And I'm telling you, if you use the dread sponge on a hair type of, I would say, 3B or higher, as long as your hair is about, I would say, 3 to 4 inches, the sponge rub is going to work perfect on you. And I do have how to use a sponge rub down below, so you can click that link to figure out how to use it. It's very easy, very simple, and it's a great way to start your dreadlocks. But you guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And then that, see you guys next time. Peace.